Hello, everybody. Welcome to DJ class number three. Um, make this a little bit short, and I've kind of, if you came into class today, this is the uh, sixth, eighth. If you came into the class on the eighth, I apologize. I accidentally took a nap and woke up right, or right when the class, well, right when my class that begins at noon was starting. Um, so I apologize in advance for, the, for that, but we'll, um, carry on. So this class is actually uh, focused on how to use the station. So this here is the booth. Um, we'll start over here. So this is the printer. And you probably are wondering when, why are you talking about the printer? If you remember last week's lesson or the lesson that would have, should be previous to this one. Uh, if there's emergency alerts, it will print out on this paper here. This one is uh, National Weather Service required a weekly test for Putnam County, et cetera, et cetera, beginning at 9, uh, 11, 19 a.m. and ending at 11.38 a.m. That's why you don't come in during that 11 o'clock hour on Wednesdays. But yeah, it will print out here and it will be blaring on the station. Um, if it's a proper emergency, read out the document and then get the heck out of Dodge. Over here is record players that we are unfortunately unable to use at the moment. Over here is both the public service announcement log right here and the actual station log. Um, I forgot to do this for my show that I just did, so I'll do it now. Uh, when you come in, you write your name, Ben Sexton, Ben S, and then what time I got on? I got on about 7.30. And I just got off about 8.30. And you're good. Um, and then you'll write any public service announcements you write here. Um, over here is, uh, well, there's the speakers. The volume controls are here. So if they ever are down, I'm, I, the kind of lighting is terrible in here. We only got this one single fluorescent in here. So it doesn't make great lighting. Anyway. Uh, actually, we'll start here. That's the phone. Um, that's the number there of the station. You have to put the 931 in there. Basically, you can call that, pick it up. It actually works. Um, if somebody, if you want to do phone calls on your show, you, it's up to you, basically. Um, but you're also at fault if somebody comes on and, and swears on the radio, you're at fault for that. So be careful if you do that. I would probably suggest not doing it. You can probably take requests, but don't put anybody on the on the radio unless you are 100% sure you know the guy and he's not gonna cuss on it. Um, basically what you would do is you pick up the phone, make sure everything's okay. Over here, that's the phone level. You adjust it to what you need. I'll show that in just a second. Uh, that and then you hit call and then it will broadcast on the radio and then when you want to hang up just hang up the phone um there's some voice processor stuff don't really care about that really the thing you might care about is these here these are cd players as you can see back over here we've got a lot of cds um most of them i've been put on the computer but um in case you have CDs of your own that you didn't want to put on MP3 or whatever, um, you got all these back here, and you use them in this. So there are three CD players here, one, two, and three. Um, I believe that's it. And then there's three levels for them, one, two, and three. So what you want to do, especially if you got more than one CD, you always want to try to avoid dead air is you put in your multiple CDs here in all three of them. I believe this one doesn't work. You have to test it out when you actually do it. Um, hopefully that fixes the lighting. And I'll try to fix it in post. Um, yeah, one, two, and three. Turn the power on with the power buttons. Where's the power button on here? Power is here. This power controls both of those. 
uh, power down there just controls this one. Basically, you put your CDs in, get the thing ready to go, hit play, it'll play the one song, and then you can pause it and then go to the next next CD player and play it. Especially if, because I believe on some of these, let's take this one, Cowboy Junkies. I've never heard of that before. Um, some of them, well, I have the listings on the back. I think this is more of a single. Um, let's look at, let's look at Chumbawamba. You know, I get knocked down, I get up again. These are the songs you are allowed to play on the station. These are the ones that are on, on, in there. Um, because, obviously, focus please, thank you. Some of them have uh, cuss words in it, obviously, and you're not allowed to play them on the radio. So, they give you a nice list of what is actually you can play on the station um in, in the white labels on there and then also you know songs have fake endings so generally if there's something to worry about like this they will put it on the list for you um really you won't be worried too much about that um I'll turn these off um next there's the microphone there's three microphones in here i believe we have Focus, please. Thank you. Uh, I believe we have room for four microphones in total in the station setup. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, generally, you're only allowed to have three or four, or you only have a couple of co-hosts with you, especially with COVID. Um, three is probably about the max that you can have. Uh, I will put a link in the description to, or not a link, I'll just clarify it in the comments or something on the video. Um, yeah, so this is your main microphone. That's the master. And then there's microphone two and three, I think. I'm not 100% sure on which one's which because I only ever do my show solo, most of the time at least. So here is how you work the microphones. So at the bottom of Come on, focus, please. Thank you. So at the bottom, you have this button, and you've got these buttons up here. So this is the power button at the bottom. This makes the microphone actually turn on. These two buttons, and these two buttons are actually the most important two buttons. You have program and audition. So program, if you click that and you click the power button, which I'm not going to click right now, it plays on the air. If you click that, audition, and you click the power button, and I can do that. It is actually intended to test the uh, levels on your microphone. And there's two ways you can test it. One, you got these buttons over here. So you got air, program, and audition. If you put it in audition, this shows, uh, it'll play through the speakers. I'll just turn them up a little bit. And I apologize if this sounds terribly, but you can talk. Well, actually, it doesn't really work too well. It doesn't actually play out of those. Um, so I'll put that back on air. But if it's on audition mode, which it is now, you can see that there's the audition levels and there's the program levels. You see the program levels are keep going because it's actually, because the SAM level is on program, which means it's actually broadcasting on the air. So that's what's currently broadcasting right now. I turned down the volume in here so you don't hear it while I'm talking. Over here is the audition levels. You can see as I talk, it, the level goes up and down, as you would see with like a microphone level, of course. Um, generally, you want to try to match your audition levels with what the station levels are currently at. We like to keep it around that 10 to 7 mark. Um, so you, you just come in and go testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, talking to your normal voice, and it seems about right, so that's good. You can turn that off. You can leave the level at. I'm going to turn it off because I've already done it, and turn off the program. When you actually want to do your show, master program. Um, yeah, various different sliders for each of the things. So microphone, master microphone, this one right here. You got your uh, second mic and third mics, which are over there somewhere yeah uh that used to be the sam we don't use that anymore 
got iPod, which is down here. Oops. We've got aux cable for that. iPod, that's probably the one you'll most likely use if you're doing music show. CD1, which is, or uh, CDs one, two, and three, which is all three of those CD players over there. And you got the SAM, which is computer levels, and phone, which is for the phone. So, I guess, last little bit. And I'll, I might come back and do more if I need to, is how to run the SAM. So SAM broadcasting is what we currently use for our, our station. So what it does is we got up here, okay. It's about as good as I can get without actually using like capture card or, or just like whatever. So, or OBS or something. Uh, Auto DJ, this basically runs the station while there's nobody on the air. So we put it, the songs and just automatically play them. Uh, down here we have the category playlist of all of the songs. So rotation, click that. We look down here, and that's got all of the songs on the radio station. So you can click that and go in and look at all that. I, just, I usually you can search it. Uh, say I want to find the Beatles. Well, if I can spell correctly, I just go to the beat and look at that. You got you got these songs. All those Beatles songs. Or you can say America. I like America. The band. There you go. America. Especially, and all these other ones. And you can get the songs. So like David Bowie. You're an American band. You're an American band. All that stuff. Uh, especially if you're a lot more um, musical knowledge than me. You have some fun um, doing that. Anyway, over here is the cute, which has all the songs that are played. So the next song up will be Das Funkhaus with Wanted Wine or Wasted Wine. And then I'll go through. Uh, up here, schedule event thing. Don't mess with this. Basically, this makes it so that at about 7 o'clock in the morning, you put, we'll play some classic rock for because I had some of the of the people, um, Andrews come in here and ask me about that. So gave them that to them. Um, yeah, basic, and if this queue becomes empty, don't worry. Uh, the way that Bailey, our music director has it set up, it will basically empty out and then restock itself. Um, down here's the history. Uh, don't have to worry about that too much unless you were listening to a song and then it's like, oh wait, I like that song. Um, volume, don't mess with that clock kind of useless uh these are the decks that are actually playing the music um and then we'll wait about 14 seconds to show you how to do this next thing so there's das funk house see it pops up fades out and goes into das funk house um now you got four minutes of that and then before jocelyn and chris ardent or whatever okay so let's say you come in here and you're ready to do your show. We'll actually just walk in. We'll do the whole setup to begin with. So here's the station. Um, it's dark out. I'm in here by myself at the moment. So you come in, walk over. Sorry. You come on, clock. You get here, you write your name down uh, on the station and get ready to go. So next thing you'll want to do is go up here to that little tab there. Where it says auto DJ. So there's three sections. There's auto DJ, play cue, and manual DJ. Auto DJ will just continue playing songs from the cue and then it will restock the cue. Um, play cue will just complete the cue and then stop. And then manual DJ, which is basically the thing will, after this song finishes, the thing will stop playing and it'll let you do whatever you want. So you go manual DJ. So that thing's set to manual. So now you've got three minutes to get ready to go. Next thing you wanna do is go over here and test your mic volume. Let's say master, program edition, 
test, test, test. You make that and just raise it up to whatever level you need, you know, up and down. It's like, it's a volume slider. You know what, that how that works. Test it, test, test, test. Sorry, it looks bad. And then you can set that and leave that. You turn that off and there, and you would turn it on to program mode. So that when you click that on button, it'll start broadcasting. Next, you'll also wanna, if say you've got music on your iPod or whatever, change that to whatever you need. Um, now you're ready to go, basically. Um, once that, and, oh, and then the last thing you do is you pull up our station, identif our station signature and you read this whenever you get on the air and you read it every half hour of, on the half hour. Um, just make sure that people know what they're listening to if they can't already tell. Um, yep, so you have that ready. You're listening to WPTU 88.5. And then also you want to get um, the log ready. So rotation template. You can you could use this if you want, or you can just go in and create a new file um, and you create the log. And then you do your show. So that will stop playing. Nothing will be broadcasting on the air. You click master, program, turn it on. Same with the iPod or whatever you're using. And then you're playing your music. Or you can use this thing. You can click whatever this, and then that adds it to the cube. Whoops, and then I just messed it up, but you can double click it and, well, just keep playing that. Uh, you can double click it and actually get it to start playing right away. So if you're on manual, it will do that. Um, I'm gonna turn it back to auto. So basically what you do, then when you get done, you say, thank you for listening. You're listening to WTTU, you can say the same sure again, say your show name, all that stuff. You log your show, just tell it like we mentioned in class one, which, you know, the name of the show, name of the songs, all that stuff. Then you come back here, change it from manual to auto, and then it will say, usually it will say something like reverting to uh, auto DJ. Um, you got five seconds to make sure that you want to do it or not. And you can either click OK and do it automatically or you just wait five seconds and then it will turn on to auto DJ and then the station's running itself again. And you're done. You go back over here, sign out, log any PSAs you did over here, uh, and you're good to go. And that's how you operate the station. Um, just to do a quick little bit of tour guiding while I'm right here. Um, over here in this room, it's empty at the moment, but this was, and it still is, they're planning on, they're still working on, uh, getting it set up, but this was the podcast recording room. Um, there's a lot of records in here. You can take a look at them if you want, I guess. Not a lot of good ones in here. Uh, and you can't really play them on the station because the thing isn't working. I didn't even see this before 1985 is watching. So a lot of random stuff around here. A lot of different like um, you know, stickers, all that stuff. Broadcast studio protocol stuff. That's out of date. Uh, program director. I'm sure it'll be changed eventually. Um, it's that. And I'm just come out well obviously well I guess it'll go from the back forward um this is the office area of the studio we've got the um office room here it's a fridge it's got drinks in it um make sure to watch the signs on that a lot of books in here if you like that sort of stuff um over here is the actual office. Um, that's uh, Irene Sullivan's desk, Austin's desk, my desk, which is less messy than it usually is, and Bailey uh, Shemke's desk right here. Um, there's the studio in there, there's the podcast room there, and 
over here is the office area. Office area is where uh, Eva sits. Again, if you need any pro uh, have any problems, ask her uh, or ask me, I guess. And then over here, now this is the uh, floor of the UC. Uh, people are often surprised that this thing is even up here. Um, over here is like room 378. This is all the communications department. You're not usually going to be in here. This is really just to show you actually where the thing is. Um, up in this hallway. And keep going. I'm not real great at travel vlogs, so I apologize in advance. But over there, there's the the elevators. And then if you're familiar, there's the career development office there. Uh, counseling center is way down there. So yeah, you got the off, uh, elevators right here. Take that up from, from the perch or whatever it's called. Um, also, if you're aware of the Guinness World Record tuba collection that's up here, in there but yeah you can come down this office turn your right and keep going some water fountains are not being used right now because of covid and all the way down there there's the office so that's been less than three i'll probably double check if I got everything in this lesson and make a lesson four if I missed anything. But I think that mostly covers it up. Um, when you get done watching this, we'll, um, whoever's out there watching it, will uh, contact me when you get done. We'll set up a time for you to do the test to certify that you've done it. And we'll also have to do some uh, shadowing. If you wanna come and shadow my show, the sports cast, it's, I'll actually make sure to do it. Uh, it's, uh, should be around Thursdays at six o'clock. Really, I'm open whatever time we need to, whatever time works for y'all. Uh, just try to make sure that we can get new DJs on the station, especially since a lot of them are leaving. So thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, that's been this class, class dismissed.